Greetings and welcome! Teo is here. Developers has made a huge update and today I want to tell you about it. Some of the notes you probably have read, but we will look more deeply on them. And we start from the little one news and then move to the biggest. First of all, as with previous updates, developers has made many fixes after it. That's why I waited before releasing final update review. And we can all thank devs for their generosity, because our mails fill it from bottom to top with gifts. There are a lot of resources, energy bottles and even Linari, so don't forget to take all these presents from your mail. Then you probably have noticed many new changes on map. You must know that price and level for all territories to unlock have been recalculated. So there is 20 new territories in total that you can unlock. That means on every of this new territory will be new city, new mines or new dungeon. And of course more free and guarded resources for you. Another good future is that now waiting time for all dungeons and mines have been reduced by health from normal. So now the game gives us more time to play in it and the reason more often to log in. The second you notice on map that now all bosses has also changed their lair positions. And the four mighty dragon bosses now became more powerful. Now they are stronger themselves and have guards of higher level but the reward is still the same. What I'm not happy with in this update that old camps and villages on map where new players can buy neutral units, now having troops level 2 or 3, not level 5 like before. And units that we can get from elite mercenary camps, now level 5, not level 7 like before. Don't really understand the reasons why devs lowering these units levels, but I'm not satisfied with this. I think some of you buy items in shops, and I can say that now there are more random items and units. And a couple of new bundles too, but not for Linari, sadly. A funny change that gives King now the power to edit the Royal Proclamation. Some of you can say it's useless, but I find it like more deeply change for role players. Also now in battle, the heroes will receive experience according to how much energy they have used. The interesting thing about the update battles is that now you can share any battle that you can see in your activity, or even share the shared battle of someone. A small change with animation in castle, now when nothing is researching at academy, the little slip symbols are flying on top. Now going to the big changes. First of all, we got three new heroes. Mako, the daredevil hero from Rakan race. Gan, the elder druid, sage from human race. Nora, the great white shark, dwarven princess. These three heroes you can not just only buy in shop, but you can also find them in the void and recruit in your army for adamantium. So every one of us is tired of having lots of crap in our inventory and we ask it about future to sell them or to do something with them. Developers has made two things in one time. They give us crafting system which gives us opportunity to transmute all non-needed items into new and receive some resources for craft powerful items. After reaching level 5, you will see a new building in your castle called Alchemy Core. In that building you can transmute 4 non-needed items in one new random. And after receiving a lot of crafting resources, you can craft some new item. Recipe for them you can find in Void or buy for honor in Royal Archives. In case you wonder where Royal Archives is, this is new building on map near your kingdom capital city. So now the honor is more in demand than before. Try to use it smart. 
One of the most expected updating is new race, and here it comes. Race call it Rakan. The race looks like simple raccoons, but you must aware of them. They are like real tanuki from the legends. Many of them are powerful warriors with swords and crossbows. Also, in the Rakan army you can command large dragon turtles and dragon ships. And like with previous races, you can unlock Rakan when you reach Marquis rank. More deeply about this race I will talk in an individual video. And the last but not least is update part called Journey into the Void. Now near your capital you will see some void mirror that you can enter after defeating guards. In couple words, void is our new end game content, like previous we have tactical school. But void has much more benefits. The main benefit is that you can unlock new heroes while traveling and complete challenges in void. Second benefit is that void challenges don't take in or kill any of your troop in real war. So you can just take all your gold units and don't afraid to lose them. So every 20 hours you can come into void, complete challenges, collect resources and win some special resource adamantium for heroes unlocking and recipes for crafting items. More deeply about Void and tactics in it I will explain in particular video about it. Well, there are lots of changes, lots of new content, and I'm glad about it, hope you all too. And that's all you need to know about new huge update in Art of Conquest.